Hey guys, it's Martha Brookbank with Valley Market Real Estate based in Palmer, Alaska. And today I wanna to talk to you about the best places to live in Alaska for families. I've done a video in the past about the cheapest places to live in Alaska. And it might not be a surprise to you if you've watched that video that some of the best places in Alaska to live for families are some of the same places. So the best places to live for families are in South Central Alaska, the Matsu Valley, which includes cities like Wasilla and Palmer, Anchorage and Eagle River. And the reason why I'm pointing these areas out is because they have the best ranking high schools in the state. Um, Matsu Career and Technical High School is actually number one in the state, that's in Wasilla. And it's actually ranked number 404 in the US, which is a big deal because in Alaska, we're not really well known for our um, schools, unfortunately, at the moment. Uh, so the fact that Matsu Career and Technical is ranked number 404 in the nation is kind of a big deal for us. And I will link that article so you guys can check it out. It's from usnews.com. And the state actually has a really handy tool on the state website where you can search for any school in the state you can see the stats, you can see how they rank, and you can actually compare two schools together, which comes in really handy if you're doing your research to see what area is best for your family if you're moving up from out of state, even if you're looking to compare neighborhoods, even if you know you're gonna end up in Anchorage, but how does Diamond High compare to South? Uh, that could be, it could be a significant difference. It could help you decide what neighborhood you wanna look for a house in. So I will link that website as well and take that into consideration when you are looking for neighborhoods to move to. And I am not only looking at the best schools, but South Central is gonna have more job opportunities based solely on the fact that it's the highest population. It just makes sense. There's gonna be more jobs where there's more people. Anchorage has, uh, what was it? I think the latest stat I saw was about 288,000 people that lived in Anchorage. There's about 110,000 people that live in the Matsu Borough as a whole, which I should really do a video on the Matsu Borough and how it works because we tend to refer to the Matsu Borough as a whole when we're talking about population size because it is a big area with a lot of people, like I said, 110,000 people in the Matsu Borough. However, there's multiple smaller towns that make up the borough and it can be misleading if you search like population of Wasilla or population of Palmer and you see only 6,000 residents Yes, it, the city limits of Palmer is small and only 6,000 people live in Palmer, but the greater Palmer area is part of what makes up the Matsu Borough and there's a lot of people that live in the outskirts because the city limits are just so small. Uh, so I should do a whole separate video on that, I digress. South Central Alaska has bigger population, which naturally means more job opportunities if you're moving up without a job. It's important to know that and also proximity to recreation. So if you like the outdoors, no matter where you go in Alaska, you'll probably be happy. There's always opportunity to hike and fish and ski and go outside and enjoy the outdoors. However, if you like to go to the movie theater or go bowling or go to, um, throw axes, which is a new one that people have started doing in our areas, axe throwing businesses. If you want um, more options for recreation for your kids, for your family, South Central Alaska is gonna be uh, the way to go. So those three reasons, the best schools, more job opportunities and proximity to recreation, that is why I say the Matsu Borough, Anchorage, Eagle River area, is gonna be your best bet for families. However, I also want to throw out an honorable mention to Fairbanks and Homer because they also have some of the better schools 
and Fairbanks has about 32,000 people. So there are some job opportunities there. There's a lot of military opportunity up there with the, the base up there. And then the services that come with a big military population. Uh, it's close to the North Slope. So if you are looking at getting a job on the North Slope borough, it does help cut your commute a little bit because rather than going from Anchorage all the way to the North Slope, you're flying from Fairbanks, which is in the interior to the North Slope. And Homer, Homer is small. It is a small town, about 6,000 residents, I think, when I looked it up. So not as many job opportunities, but people who live in Homer love Homer. It is a really close, tight-knit community. So if you're looking for more of the small town feel, uh, I would definitely check out Homer, do some research. There will be jobs in healthcare, uh, hospitality. There's a big tourism industry in Homer in the summer. Uh, there's a lot of fishing charter businesses and some commercial fishing. So just look into your job opportunities if you're not moving up with a job and see if Homer is a good fit for you. So that's it guys, that, that is uh, my, those are my opinions. These are not necessarily facts on the best places to live for families. These are my opinions. However, I did do some research and I'll link um, all of the websites that I've referenced in the video in the description so that you can do your own research. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, email me at martha at valleymarket.com. I'd love to talk more about it with you and help you find a house if you're moving up and you're looking to buy. All right, thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more videos.